Okay, so now we are going to uh, work on the assembly of the um, head of the press. Uh, so we have our assemblies with the variants on the inside, as well as all the hardware on the bottom that we did um, a couple of steps ago. We have our completed cylinder. <clears throat> I have my two handles. Screwdriver, glue, and eight of the one inch screws. Uh, to build this, I like to keep my stack of books here. <clears throat> and I also like to build mine upside down. So uh, what I do is I take my first handle and I put it uh, like that. And then I can slide this piece on over here and this piece on over here. Uh, as we're doing this, we need to make sure that the bearings are facing on the inside, not towards the outside. And then I like to slide those two pieces in together. And then I'll put uh, this last piece in like this. Uh, this essentially is what it's going to look like when it's built, uh, but first we need to get some glue on these pieces so we can start putting in some screws. Uh, so I like to glue that and that. Again, I'm building this assembly upside down, so I'm making sure that uh, the, the logo is upside down as well. trying to make sure that I get this square. And so the countersink fits nicely in here and uh, the cut pieces fit nice and squarely there. Uh, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm pretty happy with that. So I can start driving some screws. With that side done, I'm ready to turn it around and do the same thing to the other side. So I did have a little bit of cracking up here. That's okay. If you want to avoid that, you can try pre-drilling these holes. Um, but it won't affect the, um, what the press actually does. Okay, so now we are ready to calibrate the press. Uh, for this step, you will need your assembled press bed or, um, yeah, the assembly press bed, uh, plus the bed block that we have here, uh, the press head. Uh, if you ordered a piece of um, plate steel, you can use that. If not, you can just use some extra paper and um, pack that out to the right height. Uh, with this step, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to assemble the whole press together. And then, uh, depending on how accurately you assembled your press and uh, how the material tolerances look, uh, we'll put little bits of tape on the rails there. So, my bed block in.
parts. Right, going to the right. Uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put um, this calibration block in each of the corners. So that one's a little low. Do it in the middle. That's good. That's good. And that one's a little low. And that one's a little low. And so I'm checking that height uh, quite simply by putting it under there and seeing how much it does or doesn't move it. So it's, it's really tight there. Nice and tight there. Nice and tight there. A little wiggle. And a little wiggle. So. I'll take those out. With all of our calibration mission being completed, uh, now we're ready to put our last six screws in. So, uh, I don't glue this step, I only screw it, but we'll just drive these six screws. Final stop will be, or our final step will be to put the press back on, or the head back on the press. Install our four stops. 